We're working in intermediate algebra. This is the second part of section 6.6. .6. It starts on page 256 of your book, which is this page right here. All right, well, this page is uh, using the graphing calculator, Texas Instruments 83 or 84, to graph a quadratic function or parabola. Um, currently, I have no way to show a graphing calculator on a video doing this, but the directions are here in your book. Um, for my class, I do not allow the use of a graphing calculator for graph graphing quadratic functions, so um, you need to probably check with your own instructor about this. Here are the specific instructions for using the graphing calculator um, if you want to check one out and practice it on your own, but for my class it will not be allowed on any quiz or test for this chapter. This is the next page, page 257, where there are two examples uh, where you're specifically asked to use a graphing calculator to graph these quadratic functions. Um, and again, in my class, I'm not going to allow the use of the graphing calculator. So you, know, you can check with your teacher how they want you to do this, whether they want you to use the calculator instructions or whether they would just rather skip the graphing calculator for quadratic functions. But to do this by hand, you would have to be able to put this standard quadratic into vertex form, which I'm actually not going to review right now because it's not a uh, objective for this course. So we're going to go on to the next page. All right, example 10 is uh, the beginning of the application section for quadratic functions. Uh, solve the application. The function for an object that is thrown up in the air is given by h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 48t plus 64, where h of t is the height of the object above the ground and t is the time in seconds. When would the object re reach its maximum height? What is the maximum height of the object? All right, so here we have a quadratic function where h is standing for the height and t is standing for time. We're being asked when will the object reach its maximum height and what is the maximum height of the object. Okay, so here we have a key word, maximum. Uh, when you see the keywords maximum or minimum in a word problem with quadratics, you're being asked to find the vertex or when will the object reach its maximum height would be the vertex of that parabola. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here and rewrite this function. h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 48t plus 64. To find the maximum height, we're going to use the vertex formula. Uh, if you remember from the last video, the vertex formula is, well, we're going to be using t because t is the variable here, equals negative b over 2a. a is negative 16 and b is 48, coming from these coefficients, negative 16 here, 48 here. So we'll just plug those numbers in and we'll get t equals negative, negative 16 over 2 times 48. Be careful with your signs because this negative is always going to be here. It's part of the formula. This negative was on the 16 because this 16 was negative in the function. To simplify this, okay. Well, you can see I erase this whole thing because I wrote it backwards. B is supposed to be on the top, so this would be negative 48 over 2 times A, or 2 times negative 16. So negative 48 over negative 32. And since we're talking about a word problem, we're trying to solve for time here. You can put this into your calculator. It comes out to be 1.5. What does that mean? That means that T or the time that the object is at its maximum height will be 1.5 seconds since we solved for t. Now how do we find out what that maximum height actually is? Is we take that time 
and we substitute it in here for t, and then we simplify. So I'm just going to scroll up a little bit, and we'll be finding height. The maximum height will be negative 16 times 1.5 squared plus 48 times 1.5 plus 64. And when you simplify all of that, um, you're going to use a calculator. This ends up being negative 36 plus 72 plus 64, which is actually 100. So the, the maximum height for this object is 100 feet. Yes, it doesn't give us a unit, but I'm going to assume it's feet. When the maximum time is 1.5 seconds. So we're going to uh, we're going to answer this in a complete sentence. When will the object reach its maximum height? Here I have the sentence, the object will reach its maximum height of 100 feet in 1.5 seconds. And I answered both questions in one sentence. It's perfectly fine to write two different sentences if you want. The object will be at its maximum height in 1.5 seconds, period. The maximum height of the object is 100 feet. It's perfectly fine to write two sentences. Um, I kind of like to write one, so that's fine too. As long as you answer both questions, you'll be covered there. Okay, this is example 11. It's on page 268. It says, solve the application. Jade wants to sell graphing calculators. The revenue function is given by r of p equals negative 15p squared plus 4500p, where r of p is the revenue and p is the price in dollars. What is the maximum revenue? And there we have our key word again. Whenever you see this word maximum or even the word minimum in a, an application with quadratics, it's asking you to find the vertex. So we're going to restate that vertex formula is p equals negative b over 2a and of course I used p here because p is the variable in the function. Alright so let's find out what a and b are going to be here. Using our function it looks like a is going to be negative 15 and b is 4500. So when I plug those in, p equals negative b over 2a or negative 4500 over negative 30. Um, and of course we can just reduce this and it comes out to be 150. So we solve for P. The maximum revenue is R. So we have P, which would be the maximum price, since P is standing for price. This is not the maximum revenue. This is what the price of the calculators has to be to get the maximum revenue. So in order to find the maximum revenue, we need to substitute this P into the function and simplify to solve for revenue. So I'm going to rewrite the function. The function is r of p equals negative 15 p squared plus 4500 p and then I'm going to take my p, my maximum price, and I'm going to put it in here and when I simplify all this then I will have the maximum revenue. So that would be negative 15 times 150 squared plus 4500 times 150. And obviously with these numbers you're going to use a calculator and you're going to get negative uh, 337,500 here plus 675,000. When you add those you get 337,500. So that's what R is going to be, or the maximum profit. We need to state that in a complete sentence. All right, so we have our statement here. The maximum revenue is $337,500 when the calculators are priced at $150.
Uh, this piece right here, you're not really even asked for. It's just a giving a little bit of extra information. Um, it's never wrong to give the most information possible. And in some cases, it might even get you an extra credit point if you give some information that's not asked. This is all that's asked for. The maximum revenue is 337500 all right, that's the end of section 6.6. .6. So um, bring your questions back to class with you. I'll see you there.